and welcome to Parent Booker. In this third tutorial, we're going to cover setting up school classes and groups. You should be an administrator to perform this task, and you'll need to do this before parents register to access the system. You can confirm with your admin an administrator because you can see here that there's an admin item in the menu, and you're a, an admin is identified here um, under your username. So if you don't have admin rights and this isn't appearing, email support at parentbooker.com and be sure to specify your school and your login. Here I'm going to show you how to get to those classes and group settings. Click on admin and here you can see the fourth item across in the sub menu under admin is classes and groups. Go ahead and click on that. Here you can see that just one classes and group has been set up. In this case just a placeholder. It's important that you set up classes and groups before parents start registering. When parents register, they will be prompted to select their children and what classes those children are in. And this information is used to populate the drop-down menu where they choose the, ch the class their child is in. In addition, they will be able to specify if they're members of certain groups. So first, let's go through setting up a first grade class. Here, I'm going to set up Add Class or Group to choose I'm adding a new row. Here, I can choose from the drop-down. This is a first grade class, and the name of the teacher is Mrs. Smith. I can add additional classes here, each time selecting the group, sorry, the grade, and the name of the teacher. I can go on doing that for each class in the school. Obviously, there may be multiple classes in each grade, and that's fine. Let's say we want to add a group. And the reason for adding groups is so that you can identify volunteer opportunities and send an email blast that goes only to people who are members of that group. And this can be useful for groups such as PTA members, or perhaps members of school fundraising groups, or school auction committee members. So let's create a school auction committee group. To do this, again, just click on Add Class or Group. Instead of choosing a class from the Grade or Group drop-down, choose Group, which is the first item. And here I'm going to put School Auction Committee. Now I can add an additional group, for instance, and have a group for the PTA. I could add another group for the Father's Club. Once I'm done, it's very important to click Save, otherwise my changes will not be rec recorded and they will not show up when parents register. I've now saved those settings, and when parents register, this means they will be presented either during registration or subsequently, if they choose, they can access these in my account, they can see the groups they are members of. So here we can see under my account, and this is accessible to all users, they can see which groups they can choose to be members of. And they can add and just check the boxes to say they're members of certain groups. Of course, they have to click Save to record their members. You can additionally, as an administrator, add people and remove people from groups yourself. To do this, Go to Admin and click on Manage Users, which is the third item in the menu here under Admin. Here I'm going to click Show All to show all the users in Parent Booker, and I can click Manage Groups. And here I can see all the users, there's only one user here in this instance, but there normally would be a long list, and I can see which groups that, that person is a member of, and I can deselect them. Once I've deselected them, I can click OK, and that person has now been updated. That's how to use classes and groups in Parent Booker. Again, if you have questions, email support at parentbooker.com, letting us know which school and login name you're using. Thank you.